welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. And day 20 of Sarah Sarah September. I am really glad that you clicked on this video because today I'm sharing with you one of my most requested videos actually, which I am very flattered about. So thank you for requesting this video. It is my everyday skincare routine. Um, yeah, my everyday skincare routine. Who would have thought it? Now there are a bajillion gazillion skincare routine videos already on YouTube many which contain a gazillion gajillion products in them this will not be one of those videos as you can imagine i mean if you know me from my channel i'm pretty pretty simple pretty straight to the point i'm not the fanciest of people so just to start off this is not an advert this is not sponsored by any companies this is just me telling you what i do what I put on my skin every day. But please, please, please always talk to your doctor about what they think is best for you because although I am a doctor, unfortunately I'm not your doctor, even though I wish I could be. I wish we could all just meet up and hang out and be friends. Your doctor is the person who knows you best. They know what health conditions you have, any allergies that you have. So please always take their advice is what I'm trying to advise you to do. One way that this video will be different is that it's not just going to focus on the pampering side of a skincare routine because the, the skin is a lot more than like a little, you know, a little cheeky pampering video. It's like, it's a big deal. In fact, it's such a big deal that it is the biggest organ in our body. It is that big of a deal. Can you imagine? Skin is made up of your epidermis, your dermis, and the subcutaneous tissues. Your hair, your nails, your sebaceous glands, and your sweat glands. The skin is a big big party a big accumulation and apart from making us feel fleeky like hashtag woke up like this the skin has a lot of different functions so it serves as a barrier it's a barrier to our environment it also serves as a thermoregulator so we regulate our temperature using our skin you know when you get like cold and you get shivers and the hairs the hairs on the back of your neck stand up the skin is also really important for sensation it's important for vitamin d synthesis which i'll talk about a little bit later and last but definitely not least because i think that might be the reason that most of us have clicked on this video it's important for cosmetic reasons now medicine is not some super self-righteous field or at least it shouldn't be some self-righteous field which ignores the fact that we are visual beings we enjoy feeling good in our own body being in a state of good health is not just about your physical well-being it's about your mental and emotional well-being so looking after our skin physically can help improve our emotional and mental well-being as well up to a third of the population suffer from a skin condition at any one given time skin conditions can have a really serious impacts on your life or social repercussions they can cause embarrassment physical damage and some of them can even be life threatening that said the good news is that some of these skin conditions can actually be avoided by looking after your skin and staying healthy and in this video i'm going to share with you things that i do to keep my skin not only looking healthy but actually being healthy the first thing that i do is that i use sun cream now a lot of you might be looking at me thinking girl you're black, you do not need sun cream. But that is a common misconception. If you're gonna be out in intense sunshine for a prolonged period of time, you need sun cream. You need to protect your skin from UV radiation. Now, it is true to a certain extent that it, the more melanin you have in your skin, I know a lot of us now are aware of what melanin is, hashtag melanin poppin, hashtag melanin on bleak. Melanin is a substance that's produced by melanocytes in your skin. It causes pigmentation of your skin, giving you that chocolate glow. However, it also serves to protect your skin from UV radiation, but it can't do all the protecting sometimes we need to help ourselves help ourselves if you see what i mean we need to get in the shade and we need to use sun cream so i actually use sun cream a lot to the point that i get made fun of for it i wear factor 50 and my caucasian friends are looking at me like girl what are you doing and i'm like hmm, you won't be laughing when i'm 75 years old and still looking like a snack okay so wear that sun cream i literally use factor 50 waterproof just to keep my skin protected i live in the uk okay and let's be honest we don't get a lot of sun summer tends to last at around about three days and they're usually spread out so you can't have them all in a row and i feel like there's some kind of rule that it's never allowed to be sunny on a bank holiday if you're worried about becoming vitamin D deficient, then definitely speak to your doctor about it. Um, you can take vitamin D supplements after chatting to them to see whether you need them or not. We can also get vitamin D from the food that we eat. So eating foods like oily fish, salmon, tuna, red meat, liver, egg yolks, they are all great sources of vitamin D. So make sure that you are not only getting it from the sun, but from your food as well. And if you're worried about becoming deficient, then just speak to your doctor, but definitely don't, don't go burning don't go burning your face with the excuse of oh i need my vitamin d nah if your face is going red 
what you really need is some sun cream, some skin education. My second tip is that I don't smoke. Smoking has a lot of risks. If you'd like to find out more about how to quit smoking, I'll put a link in the description because I know that it's, it's difficult. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, just stop smoking. Smoking is addictive. There's a reason why people do it. But if you don't smoke, I recommend that you don't start. If you do smoke, I recommend that you never stop trying to quit. And by never stop, I mean never stop trying to quit. Once you quit, you can stop trying because you'll have quit. Anywho, smoking is thought to reduce the blood flow to your skin so your skin gets fewer nutrients and oxygen. It's also thought to reduce the skin's natural elasticity, so by breaking down a product called collagen. So if you're smoking, you're giving yourself a double whammy and a load of other health risks that just aren't necessary. So if you are smoking, definitely look into quitting. Me, I do not smoke, so that is actually part of my skincare routine. It's not just things that we do, it's things that we don't do as well. Next, I drink a lot of water. So staying hydrated can help prevent your skin from drying out. Not only does drinking plenty of water help me with my healthy eating, but it also helps me to keep my skin nice and hydrated. And last but not least, what you've all been waiting for is my like skincare routine, like the actual, I say what you've all been waiting for, maybe, maybe not like I don't want to make assumptions however I feel like probably the main point in this video were the products that I use maybe um so I keep it really 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 simple one of the things that doctors regularly recommend is to keep your products mild so avoid like harsh soaps that can wash away the natural oil of the skin so your skin actually produces good oil that helps to keep it healthy a lot of the time so you don't want to be constantly removing all of your natural skin oil so I keep it very very simple so without further ado I will talk you through my skincare routine it is super simple enjoy and here we go kicking off my nighttime routine i'm starting with like a full face of makeup and a shiny nose it's been a long day and i just grab a face wipe to take my makeup off in fact i tell a lie that's not even a face wipe that's a baby wipe because they're cheaper <laughs> um so i grab one of those and i grab some baby oil and i put the baby oil onto the face wipe and i just use it to like really smoothly glide my makeup off i love 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 using it with the baby oil because it just feels so much softer it's less harsh on your skin um and essentially you know if you want skin as smooth as a baby's butt then why not use baby's butt products on your skin so I just keep on going until all the makeup is removed from my skin um, and I feel nice and smooth and kind of oily because obviously there's baby oil on it so my face right now is like super hydrated. So once I'm done with that I then grab some water and I wet my face ready to wash it with my face wash. Now funny story this actually isn't the face wash that I usually like to use Um, I left my face wash at home home so at my parents house about a month ago when I haven't gotten around to picking it up or buying a new one basically buying a new one but the one that I prefer is St. Ives apricots scrub I love that but right now I'm using this absolutely random like charcoal face scrub it's called a Creighton's charcoal deep cleansing scrub I don't hugely love it I wouldn't really recommend it but I thought that I would just show you it anyway because that's the truth that's what I've been using for like the last month so my preferred product is St. Ives apricot face scrub St. Ives? Am I pronouncing that wrong? I bet it's like St. Irves or something now. But anyway, I basically, just to show that I'm really not that fuzzy, I use a face wash and then I wash it off. And <laughs> it's only on my skin for a second. And um, so, yeah, I just wash that off with water again until I am pretty confident that I've got it all off. Not really anything that complicated about this step, to be honest. Um, and then I brush my teeth. Now you're probably wondering, Sarah, what are you on about? Like, why are you brushing your teeth in this video that's about skincare? However, I want to show you that I always brush my lips. Brush, <laughs> brush your lips, girl, girl, guys, whoever's watching this, brush your lips. This actually changed my life. So I just use my toothbrush to gently brush my lips and remove any dead skin. And it just gets them, oh, just so soft and it gives them like a you know it brings the blood to the surface and gives you like a nice like rosy tinted glow as you can see i'm filling myself makeup free filling myself and then i dab the water from my skin with a towel and i pose for you a bit and then i put on my first product and the first product that i'm using is this mederma scar removal cream so um i really like this cream it's like a gel more than a cream it, it's literally a gel um but yeah it is mederma advanced scar gel and I just rub that all over my face. It's quite drying, so after you put it on, um, it does feel a little bit dry. Um, but I really like this. It's helping to clear up some scars from some old spots back in the day. 
then I very smoothly grab my petroleum jelly. Now people always laugh when they see this, like why on earth do you have a massive tub of petroleum jelly? It is essentially a big tub of Vaseline that you can't lose, you can't lose it like the little little mini ones. Um, and I put that on my lips and on my eyebrows. I also use this stuff to moisturise my feet sometimes if they're feeling dry, it's really good. Um, and then I grab my face cream, so I'm using Be Restored Day Cream. Look at that, guys, should I just be a beauty blogger? Like should I? Look at that posing, hot damn. Fire, absolute fire. Okay, so I grab that and I basically put it on my face. Um, I do leave the Moderma gel to dry a little bit before putting this on, but like the combination of both of them, oh my days fam, it literally just leaves my skin feeling really like supple and just, just really well hydrated. I love the combination of both of these. Honestly, I love it, I love it. Okay, and that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Nice up close and personal. Um, that's what I do before I go to bed. Then I drink some water and then when I wake up in the morning the only thing I do is I wash my face with water, just water. I apply my day cream and I do my makeup and go to work. And that is it. Funny that I turned off the light because I actually had to turn it back on to be able to find my way back to bed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what your favourite skincare products are like let's all share our wisdom with each other love you guys bye